Let's talk about aircraft performance. And the reason we need to talk about aircraft performance is an aircraft does not do as well under these conditions, hot days, high altitudes, humid air. And what we need to do is use these aircraft performance charts to figure out how much less well an airplane does under these conditions. And we'll start off with some basic concepts. One of those basic concepts we're going to talk about is pressure altitude. Now, pressure altitude is used as a starting point in aircraft performance calculations. When you look on a performance chart for an aircraft, very often you'll use pressure altitude. And pressure altitude tells you how high you'd have to fly in a standard atmosphere to have the same air pressure. Now, as a pilot, if you're sitting in an airplane and you want to find pressure altitude, the way you do it is set that little setting window in your altimeter to 29.92. And when you put 29.92 in the setting window of your altimeter, Basically, you convert your altimeter to a pressure altitude indicator. Then whatever the hands read is pressure altitude. So pressure altitude will be useful to you. You'll use it in aircraft performance calculations, and we'll talk more about it later on. Pressure altitude essentially tells you what the air pressure is on the airplane compared to that 29.92 pressure level. Now, pressure altitude is equal to true altitude only under one set of circumstances, and that is when standard atmospheric conditions exist. How often is that? Not very doggone often. Now, what is true altitude? True altitude is your actual height above sea level. So that's not very much of a useful calculation when you're talking about aircraft performance is concerned. So pressure altitude tells you how high you are above that 29.92 pressure level. And that's much more useful as far as the airplane is concerned. They are only equal to each other, pressure altitude and true altitude, under standard atmospheric conditions. And that is not very doggone often.